This is Brandon with Vance Outdoors. Uh, today's video, we're gonna go over basic turkey calling. Um, here we have a handful of calls. Um, I would say the most basic call I don't have is gonna be a push button call. Basically, it's a box call. Uh, this is called a box call, but they have a push button box call. You push a button just to make a turkey sound. So that's your easiest basic turkey call that you can have. Um, Another traditional call is going to be the box call. Um, it requires chalk. You know, you do have to chalk these to get the sound right. Um, and basically, I use this to, to locate turkeys because um, it is pretty loud. So I don't really, or if it's a windy day or if I'm not hearing them and I just want to maybe try something different on a call to get one to gobble, I will go to this box call. And basically, how you run this is I grab it like this and I put my split it up here with these fingers and just do nice and slowly and that's your yelp and you can cut with it so that's your basic box call um, it's a must every turkey hunter that i know is going to have a box call in his arsenal um, now when it comes to a pot call that's your, kind of your, your friction call um, it's going to be a basic slate call. Uh, here's your slate call. It's already conditioned, which we'll kind of get into that in a later video on how to kind of maintain your calls and keep them running good. Um, they do take some work. You know, it's not hard. It's pretty simple. But uh, your pot call requires a striker. Um, I tend to like hickory. You know, hickory sounds good. And then you got walnut. You got... Um, Osage orange, you know, I got yellow heart, you know, I got custom strikers. So every striker is going to make a kind of a different sound. Um, basically, you have your volume here. You know, the higher you have this up here, the higher pitch it's going to be. The lower you have it, the dull it's going to be. I hold it just like a pencil, you know, just like you're going to write. But I'll, I'll put my palm here on the edge of the pot call. You don't really want to touch slate or crystal or glass with your oil on your skin. So I just push it there and I come down on it and you basically just draw a circle. And if you're gonna cut on it, you just, just kind of pop it. And if you're gonna purr, you just drag it slowly across it. So them are three basic calls on a pot call um, or a friction call. This happens to be a slate. Um, you can get in the glass, you can get in the crystal. And we'll kind of show you what a crystal sounds like. A glass isn't too far off. Um, and then you got aluminum I'll show you as well. Here's a crystal call. And I like using the walnut and purple, uh, not purple, but yellow heart striker on this. Same deal, you're just getting a different sound. It's more of a higher, kind of a, a raspier tone than a slate. So that's what your crystal is going to sound like. And the last call I really like is, you know, kind of like a box call. It's super loud. Um, you can get really loud with it. It's going to be an aluminum call. And this is anodized aluminum. Um, Use a walnut with it. And you kind of see the different sounds. See how much higher of a pitch that is and how louder it is. So that kind of does it for hand calls. Um, you know, we do have a lot of mouth calls. We're not going to get into those. They do take a lot of practice. Um, I'll probably do a separate video on these. Uh, the more you practice with these, the better off you're going to be on your way to work, 
you know, in the house when the wife's not around. Um, it's always a good time to practice with these. Uh, you can do everything a hen does. You can gobble on these. Like I said, it just takes a lot of a lot of practice on these, and it takes a little bit of practice on these. But you know, these are basic. They're going to get you out there um, once you get the holding the striker down, and you know the different pressure to put, and you know the different ways to, to work a pot call or a box call or just a simple push button call. Um, we really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, now when it comes to basic calling turkeys, one thing is not to call a lot. And the more you turkey hunt and the more birds you call in or the more responses you get from birds will kind of, it's going to kind of mentor you and uh, give you that experience that you're going to need to kind of learn when to call, when not to call, what call to make. Um, calling a hen and listening to her, you know, that's a super, super good uh, experience to have when it comes to learning what they sound like and what they're doing. Um, just learning how to call them does come with a lot of experience just being out there turkey hunting. Um, again, hope you like this video. Uh, we'll get back into some other stuff here soon and we want to thank you for watching.